Hi, Jim here from Radio.co. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use Soundflower and Linein to capture the sound made by your Mac and a microphone at the same time, to use with broadcasting software so that you can talk over music for your online radio station. To get started, we'll need to download Soundflower, which can be found in our guide in our Help Center. After setting up Soundflower, you'll need to restart your Mac. After restarting, open up Audio MIDI Setup by searching for it in Spotlight by pressing Command and Spacebar. Audio devices will be opened, showing your current devices you can use like a built-in microphone and built-in output. Click the plus button and create a multi-output device. Master device should be set to built-in output. Sample rate should be 44.1 kHz and then select built-in output and Soundflower 2 channel for your audio devices. Now open up your sound settings in System Preferences Sound. In Output, select the new output device you created. The default name is multi-output device. Your computer's audio is now bundled together. Anything you play, whether that's in a media player, browser, or any other application, is grabbed and pushed out to where you want it. Audio isn't controlled from a master channel, instead you need to adjust audio from within the applications that you're using. If you want to use a microphone, then you'll need to set up Linein. To do this, download Linein via our guide in the Help Center, and then open the application. In the Input dropdown, select your microphone. In this case, we're using the built-in microphone, external microphone. In the output dropdown, select Soundflower 2 channel. Click Playthrough, and then Line In will send your input device's audio to Soundflower, which is grouped together in your multi-channel output. Open up your sound settings like before by going to System Preferences, Sound. In Input, select External Microphone or the input device you're using to talk. Use the input volume to control your input device's volume level. Far right to talk, far left if you don't want to talk. Next, we'll be using BUT as our broadcasting software. However, you could use other broadcasting software if you wanted to. In the Audio tab, click the Audio Device drop-down and select Soundflower 2 channel. To connect, a live event needs to be scheduled within your radio.co dashboard, or Live Anytime needs to be enabled. In Schedule, select a date and time when you're ready to broadcast. When you're ready to broadcast, hit Play in BUT, and then we should see that we've connected successfully and are broadcasting to our internet radio station. Radio.co is a platform that's dedicated to live internet radio stations, and it allows you to run everything from an easy-to-use dashboard directly in your website browser. Behind the scenes, we have a team of radio experts, and we'd love to answer your questions, so if you want to get in touch with us, then head to radio.co forward slash contact. Alternatively, if you're not already with Radio.co, and you'd like to give us a try, then you can for free with your 7-day free trial. Get started today by heading on over to try.radio.co.